Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. How are you today? I am a Blu-ray Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago. In this video, I need to talk to you about a lot of the things that are happening with the Divine Feminine. We got things to talk about. And the least of which is, you know, some of the things about being, feeling abandoned. This goes way back in history. But there's things you need to know about and there's things that you need to gear up for here. Because like it or not, everyone who owns a female body will go through things. It's Some of this is not going to matter your age, whether you're young, whether you're older. And that's the topic of this video and also some of the specialized things that I'm able to help people with. Because many times these are sort of in a gray area where you may sense some things and you're not sure and you're not even sure if this is related to your twin flame. In all honesty, everything is related to your twin flame or rather how you have been relating to everything else. Now, this has a lot to do with bad feminine menstrual stuff and some of the things about being a woman. Um, like it or not, wherever you feel you are on the sexual spectrum, whether you feel like you're over here or over here, somehow, no, it's not going to matter if you feel you're carrying masculine energy. You have female body parts in you, female areas that carry a feminine essence. That is the divine feminine. And that is what is on the move. And that is what needs to clear. So you're entering into a new stage, which has a lot to do with releasing cosmic traumas. What are, what are these um, things? These are things that have happened many times to star seeds. And just a short definition of starseed, what is a starseed? A starseed is someone who is an angelic, who has a dimensional connection, but has not always made the full planetary connection. And that distinguishes, uh, that's why the word seed is used in there is because they weren't able to fully connect. And so some of the seeds were not fully developed. That's all changing now. So you may have been in some form of stopped development when a cosmic trauma happened. Many times this is not a memory that you remember here with your third eye. It's a memory that is really deep. It's really deep and it's really long ago. And it's time to close up a lot of those things. And put closure to it because sometimes it feels like there's endless concluding and nothing really gets full closure. You're going to ha get help to do that. And you should seek it because I have those proper cosmic connections. I am a key activator. I am a key code activator. I am a master of the new light body, which I is the twin flame body. It is the part of you that holds each other to each other in blissful harmony and love and passion. Don't forget those parts. So to get back to this, we're talking about bad feminine menstrual and bad feminine experiences because there's been a lot. And a lot of people feel very downtrodden about this. They're trying to shake off the oppression of the past, but you need to understand something. That past has many times been something you could do nothing about it. Or maybe you died an early death. Or maybe someone put you out to pasture when your usefulness was worn out. Many times people have had life after life of the same types of things. And you haven't received proper nurturance or tenderness or health care. So we're in a different time now where not only is it possible, it's, it is a very, very 100% that you can upgrade yourself. But you have to participate in this. You have to put in not just your awareness or the fact that you've awakened. You have to put some participation into it and do some things about it. So what are some of the things that are happening? Well, for one thing, 
the menstrual cycles are going wonky. And some people are noticing this. And for some people it's upsetting because even if a person has something that runs like a clock, and by the way, gentlemen, you may feel some of this from within for your female counterpart. If you're, if you're a man and your twin is a woman, you may feel little inklings of some of this. So pay attention so that you can properly help her. Or at least don't be judgy because there's a lot of things that people have lived through as you come together that you at least have to, you know, hold the fort. Hold the fort and be a proper twin flame gentleman. Find that part of you. Lunar energies. You are going to find that during certain lunar energies, there are surges of things and there's also plunges of things. You feel like you got plunged underwater or something's pulling you down or it's that energy which feels like everyone's drowning and they're standing on your shoulders just to get a breath of air. Are you having trouble breathing? Yeah, that happens. So with the lunar energy, lunar cycles, why did I write not Earth? I wrote that because I wanted to let you know you're not intended to be attached to Earth or Earth stuff in the same way, nor are you intended to be attached to the cosmic traumas in the same way either. There is a very, very deep Lemurian healing that is taking place that goes so deep a lot of people don't even know why things are going zip, 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 boom, bang inside or feeling like they, they blew a gasket in their vehicle. This is where it gets weird and this is where I come in because that's what I'm talking about, about this in-between space. You're in an in-between space. You're between the realms. You're from point A to point B. And we're about to hit mid-year here. And that's significant because the people who are participating, they're going to get somewhere. The people who aren't participating and throwing up their hands and saying, I don't know what to do, but I've had enough. Guess what? It's still going to circle around again until you do address it. Because it's not just about addressing it, it's about maintaining yourself and maintaining for the new stage that you're entering into. So here's what else. As we have menstrual energy, as you know, if you're a woman, it doesn't just stay there like that when you have your period. There's always these little dips and little valleys and there's these peaks. And you might know that, you know, with yourself, you get cravings, you get um, moods. And if you're a man, you know that sometimes these are not fun. If you're a man, you could look and you could be like, I think it's that time of the month. I think I'll tiptoe on eggshells around the house. Now, this is the way it's been for lifetimes, centuries. In tribal situations, we had the tribal hut where all the women were on the same wavelength and they would just go and they were off limits and then they'd go resume their lives for you know the remaining three weeks of the month go over there park yourself go it's not that way and life is not at that pace anymore it's different now you are in a different energy that started in 2018 and if you're aware of, you know, terms out there like energy shifts and the shift and ascension, these are all ascension symptoms. So these are not to be ignored because these are ascension symptoms of your spiritual awakening. They're not two separate things. You didn't wake up to get dropped on your butt. You woke up to be able to get rid of these cosmic traumas properly so that good riddance, they're gone. So I'm going to talk to you about this stuff here. On the one side, because there are sides to this and there are, like I say, dips and valleys and, you know, peaks and valleys. You can feel dull. You can feel lazy. You can feel like you just want to lay in bed all day. 
You can feel unmotivated. A part of you may even know you have responsibilities, you have children, but you may feel not really a part of it. What's that all about? It has to do with this. It has to do with the female cycles, the cycles of life, the cycles of lifetimes. You may feel mental scattered, ditzy, and that's something to watch out for because this can affect your vision. It can affect your third eye vision. It can affect your reflexes. If you drive a car, be careful when you're going through that phase and get rid of it. It's important to know that I have ways and there are things that I know very deeply, very, I've got it down to a science. I help people with this. Do you feel bored, bedridden? Do you, you know, wish you didn't have responsibilities and life is just too boring already, Pamela. It's just too boring. It's just too boring. I must be out of here. There's, there's nothing to this. And this quarantine makes it worse. It just does. And you find that you're trolling on the internet and the food doesn't taste like anything. And what's up with that anyway? Poor appetite. And a part of you knows this isn't supposed to be this way. What about on the other side? Your regular periods. If you've always been like a clock where you can, you know, say that you always know what your period is. And now it starts to go wonky on you. It's 15 days, it's 45 days, it's got a mind of its own. No, it's time to do something about it. Cravings, feeling bipolar, feeling depressed, feeling hyper, feeling just like nobody gets you, nobody understands you, they're not moving fast enough, they're you know just annoying the crap out of you, you wish you could smack a few people around. Negative emotions, jealousy, being shunned, gossipy energy, all of these snide things that, sorry, but females on earth have been sort of infamous for. But why? Because if you're downtrodden, sometimes that's where the stuff goes. It all gets pushed down and it needs to get off of you. How do you do that? Several ways which includes clearing several areas of your body, both internally, externally, and connecting above you, downloads aren't enough. You may feel that you get downloads, but like I say, and I've had to learn this the hard way, you cannot rest on your laurels. You cannot sit there and say, well, I did this for 20 years. I was awakened, you know, way back when, and I'm entitled to. You're here for the same thing everybody is, whether you were awakened last year, six months ago, 30 years ago. And some people, I will say, maybe you woke up prematurely, but the fact of the matter is you woke. You're woke now. You're aware. You're responsive and therefore you're responsible. And you have to take responsibility for some of this. I know the herbs, I know the supplements, I know what herbs and supplements help with these things to help clear it. I know where it's been stored up. And that is the thing to know about your brand new twin flame body. It's not designed to let things accumulate. No matter what you live through in ancient Greece or ancient Egypt, we forget how bad some of those times were. And you're supposed to forget. You're not supposed to carry it around and hold a grudge about it and a resentment. Although, guess what? There's parts of you that do feel it, that you were shunned, you were excommunicated, you were thrown out, you were a witch, you were a misunderstood herbalist who, you know, tried to help heal people, but they, they got back at you. There's many things that have happened to the divine feminine throughout history that may not be a mystery right now, but what is is actually that you get to be new. And that means that I help you with what I call some of that psychic surgery of getting out the past, whatever is relevant, whatever is blocking you, whatever is hindering you. So here's the beauty part. There is a really good silver lining to all of this. How would you like to feel 
like a maiden again, with the purity of first love, without all of the stuff that you've been burdened with, to feel good, to have good days, to have days where that emotion is lovely or gives you energy and you slide through it. You feel the crescendo of your lovely feminineness and you don't crash with it. You don't crash into that deep, negative, childbearing death and death throes that you're currently going through and that a lot of people are going through. How about if you felt young and youthful? What about your hair? Have you noticed that some of your hair is falling out more than usual? What are the qualities of your skin? Is your skin feeling flaky, dry? Are you feeling more prone to things? Do you notice that somehow your eyes get drier faster? Your throat gets scratchy. What up with that? Really, what's up with that? It is a part of the process, but how do you jumpstart your body to feel youthful again, to feel vibrant, to feel energetic so that if you have a poor appetite, you can shift it and your body can properly reabsorb the liquids, the fluids, the nutrients that you need to see you be in love and to not even give it a thought. Because that is the beauty part of your new light body. Your twin flame body is designed to help you both thrive in a physical level operated from a completely different level. And in order to get from point A to point B to get yourself here, it's a bit of a task. And you might say to yourself, oh, I'm losing time with this. You're forgetting about quantum time. You're forgetting about those giant leaps forward that help you feel better, feel young, vibrant, energetic, creative. Are you losing your creativity? Has your creativity been given over to so many other things? Are you the strong woman behind the man? Many times that's been the case throughout history. How would you like to have a strong man behind the woman or two strong women or two strong men? Because if you're a gay man, you can actually experience some of these things. You may have had lives as a female. If you are a man and you have had lives as a female, you will feel yourself get rid of some of these same things. Not all the same because you don't have those areas. So there is very much a sense and sensibility, a wisdom, a divine wisdom to how some of this is going for people so that you can truly feel better and feel in love and what unconditional love is. Unconditional love doesn't mean take it, take it, take it, take it. Unconditional love does not mean roll over and play dead and get steamrolled yet again. Unconditional love does not mean get abandoned and victimized and turned into a martyr. Don't be a martyr on the altar of love. Unconditional love does not mean that you're sacrificing who you are as a divine feminine. It means properly receiving and getting yourself integrated, get your parts through the psyche where this damage has occurred so that you can actually be free of it. When you're free, you feel the lightness of your being. You feel your creativity. You feel energetic. And there's something else. You retain the wisdom of whatever lovely experiences you've had. There is nothing lost. If you've loved it, it's never truly lost. It's somewhere. So to help you with this, I do recommend my Psyche Body session where you do get guidance we move your energies and we also help get rid of the cosmic traumas. This is done in a series. And depending on how deep that is, I do rank a recommendation for you. Because some traumas go deeper. Some phobias go deeper. I have a webinar for the Divine Feminine. The Wisdom of the Mother to the Maiden. 
I call it mother maiden crown loosely because this indicates what's commonly called the three stages of a woman's life being the maiden, the young girl, the teenage girl, the purity of first love, that excitement of flirtations, someone paying attention to you and noticing you, making you feel desirable and welcome. Even if you're a gay woman and you want other young girls to pay attention to you, that's the purity I'm talking about. The mother, mothering people, some people have too much mother energy and it hinders them in their love relationships. And especially if you actually have children and your body's given birth to people, there's things that need repairing in there. Don't kid yourself about that. Get the job done now so you can enjoy so that you don't get to be older and find out like you need this, you need that. Your body is a vehicle to anchor your soul here. And what about the crone phase? The wise older woman, the elderly woman who has lived a long life and has learned from life's experiences. But what else goes with that? What about bones? What about your body function? What about love? How would you like to take the wisdom of the ages and retain it in a beautiful, youthful feeling, young body of the maiden. So that is what I'm talking about here, is to get yourself in the mode of clearing, upgrading, and living it. Live, be passionate, and mostly, Know that you're not crazy, even when some of this stuff makes you feel crazy. My book, New Life, if you are having especially some heart and kidney issues, pay attention because that's not something to be taken lightly or just brushed aside as, well, that's a symptom. That's just an ascension symptom or that's part of spiritual awakening. Take nothing for granted. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself because there's something to know. God wants to help people that help themselves and reach for the help that's proper, that inform themselves and do things wisely, not blindly, but wisely. So check that out. And I hope that you have a good day. Reach out to me because I've been through just about every aspect of this. And if you are a man and you have a woman that you love and you'd like to know how to help her, what things you can do and how to shift energies, reach out because women do go through a lot. It may be that other relationships you've wanted to ignore what that has brought to the relationship. I'm here to help get it shifted so that you are truly divine partners and you feel like you're having fun excitement and passion with each other. Thanks so much. Look for the links below. You can reach me at twinflamebody at gmail.com for questions. Bye now.